Have you ever wondered how waste could be transformed into energy? This isn't science fiction, but a reality with biomethane. Imagine a world where our everyday waste isn't just discarded, but turned into a sustainable form of energy. That's the power of biomethane. This clean and renewable natural gas is derived from biogas through an intricate purification process. The beauty of biomethane is that it breathes new life into organic materials that we often overlook. Consider agricultural residues, animal manure, food waste, wastewater sludge, and dedicated energy crops. They all serve as the building blocks for creating this renewable energy source. Biomethane not only champions sustainability, but it also provides an innovative solution for managing waste and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. So, the next time you see a pile of organic waste, remember it's not just waste, it's potential energy. Now you might be wondering how do we turn these materials into biomethane? The journey of turning waste into energy begins with a process called anaerobic digestion. This is where the magic happens, where microorganisms break down organic matter in the absence of oxygen. Picture this happening in sealed containers or tanks, where organic feedstocks are introduced and microbial activity takes place. The result? Biogas, consisting primarily of methane and carbon dioxide, along with trace gases like hydrogen sulfide and ammonia. But we're not done yet. This biogas still contains impurities such as carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, moisture, and trace contaminants. So it's time to clean it up. Let's dive into the process of biogas purification. First up, carbon dioxide removal. This involves separating carbon dioxide from the biogas, enhancing the biogas's energy content. Techniques used include pressure swing adsorption, membrane separation, or chemical scrubbing. Next, we tackle hydrogen sulfide, a toxic and corrosive gas that needs to be removed to ensure the safety and integrity of our biomethane production equipment. This is done through scrubbing with chemical agents like iron oxide or activated carbon. Our final step in the purification process is moisture removal. Water vapor is removed from the biogas to prevent corrosion and optimize the performance of downstream purification equipment. Techniques such as refrigeration, condensation or adsorption are used for this step. Once purified, the biomethane is compressed to pipeline pressure levels or converted into a liquefied form for storage and transportation. At this stage, upgrading technologies such as pressure swing adsorption, cryogenic separation, or membrane separation are used to further enhance the methane purity to meet natural gas quality standards. And there you have it. From agricultural residues, food waste, wastewater sludge, and energy crops, We've transformed organic waste into a usable form of energy, biomethane. So, we've transformed organic waste into a usable form of energy, but what does it take to make this process viable? That's a conversation for another time, so stay tuned. Turning waste into energy sounds fantastic, but it's important to consider the cost and efficiency of this process. The economics of biomethane production are influenced by a myriad of factors such as feedstock availability, production scale, technological efficiency, regulatory support, and market conditions. Let's start with feedstock costs. The affordability of biomethane production often hinges on the cost and availability of feedstocks. The type of feedstock used, whether it's agricultural residues, food waste, wastewater sludge, or energy crops, can significantly impact the overall production expenses. Access to abundant and low-cost feedstocks can help reduce these costs, making biomethane production more economically viable. Next, we have to consider technological efficiency. As in any industry, the more efficient the technology, the lower the operational costs. In the realm of biomethane production, advances in anaerobic digestion technologies, biogas purification processes, and biomethane upgrading techniques can improve energy efficiency, reduce operational costs, and enhance the quality of biomethane produced. But technology and feedstocks are just part of the equation. Regulatory support also plays a pivotal role in the economic viability of biomethane production. Supportive policies, incentives, and regulatory frameworks promoting renewable energy production, waste management, and greenhouse gas mitigation can make biomethane production more attractive and financially feasible. These incentives can offset initial capital investments in infrastructure and equipment, making the long-term economic picture of biomethane production much brighter. Lastly, we can't ignore the influence of market conditions. The demand for cleaner, renewable energy is on the rise. As more industries turn to green alternatives, the market for biomethane could see significant growth, further enhancing its economic viability. So while the production of biomethane may require significant upfront investment, the potential for a cleaner, more sustainable energy source coupled with advances in technology and supportive regulatory frameworks makes it a promising option for the future.